Hey everybody, welcome to the Game Man channel. My name is Justin Gerhardt, your host. Guess what, we're not in my living room, we're not on my bed, we're not in my couch or wherever I usually shoot these videos. We're at the AIDS Memorial in Toronto, just off Church Street. And the reason we're here is because I wanted to raise some awareness about something that's happening here in Toronto on September 11th. It's called the AIDS Memorial Walk. The AIDS Walk in Toronto is a fundraiser for the AIDS Committee of Toronto Act, if you've never heard of it before. And it's just to raise awareness about people who are dealing with the illness of having AIDS. Um, I think there's a little confusion around if you have HIV, you automatically have AIDS, or they're like somehow the same thing. Let me just clear this up for you. AIDS is autoimmune deficiency syndrome. HIV is an actual virus. What used to happen back in the day, and still can happen, but it happened a lot in the 80s and 90s, is that when you got HIV, it eventually turned into AIDS, which then eventually killed a lot of people. And now in 2016, HIV is no longer a death sentence. It doesn't mean you're going to get AIDS. Um, but we still have this walk to raise awareness and to show support for the people who have gone through this, for the families who have lost people to AIDS and HIV. Um, so that's why we're here. That's why they built this memorial. It was Michael Lynch in 1988 who had the idea to create a space where people could come and support and remember the people that they that they lost. Um, and then in actually 1993 in Toronto, they, they created the actual, this specific place for the AIDS memorial. They got a, a designer to create a beautiful way to showcase all the names. Now I want to take you through this AIDS memorial and I thought it'd be really cool to also bring my friend Michael back on the channel. Michael Fanus, hey, pharmacist in Toronto. So research that was done across the world was coming together to find out what was the cause of AIDS. Mm -hmm. We found out that it was a virus called the Human Immunodeficiency Virus or HIV. HIV AIDS has since affected over 30 million people worldwide. After losing an entire generation of gay men in city centers like Toronto, uh, you see this AIDS memorial had to become unfortunately a permanent fixture. Yeah. The names on this plaque alone, they start to double. Yeah. You'll see double columns. You get into the 90s and all of a sudden there wasn't enough space to just have one row. We had to then do two columns to, to be able to get all the names on these plaques, which is just an example of how much this this powerful disease was it's just destroying lives. It was destroying the lives of those that had HIV and AIDS, it was destroying the lives of their families and their partners. The gay community was in crisis. It was an epidemic. It is an epidemic. HIV AIDS is not a death sentence anymore. Yeah. Where the AIDS memorial reminds us of the thousands of guys that died, we now know that even people who get HIV today don't necessarily have to, they will not progress to AIDS yeah. with modern medicine, with the community that we have, mm -hmm. with taking care of yourself. So this is all really important things that we're doing in the community yeah. and we're seeing progress. Which brings us to why the AIDS walk in Toronto is such an important thing for the community. Um, and I think there's also a little bit of confusion around who goes to this event. You don't have to have AIDS or HIV to go to the walk. It's about supporting the people who have actually gone through this, the families that have gone through this, and, and, and to celebrate also where we've come. As you see at the very end of here, the, the lists are getting shorter and shorter because we're, we're finding new ways to, to treat HIV and so it doesn't become AIDS. This is for those that care, those that want to end the stigma, mm -hmm. those that are fighting for the cure. Mm -hmm. uh, we're getting into advancements where we can prevent HIV with a pill once a day. Yep. We can get to treating HIV with an injection every two months. Yeah. So the AIDS Memorial Walk starts at Dundas Square. That's correct. And Young and Dundas on Sunday, September 11th. Thanks so much for watching this week. Have a great weekend, everybody. And what do we say? Y'all stay fabulous. Y'all stay fabulous now. Now? Yeah. All right okay. now. You know how this works, guys. Have a good weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye. And if you're not from Toronto, I would highly encourage you to look online and see if there's any sort of walk or or support fundraisers for, Rally, for like rallies rally. for AIDS or for the HIV um, gay community and, and go out and support.